from Studio J in Atlanta, getting ready for the second game of our dynamite oh. double dip. Mm. Joel Embiid tied for the most double doubles with Rudy Gobert in the league. He's not eating grapes tonight. In the Sixers taking on the Golden State Warriors. Who That's the reason why. 11 in a row. You notice that Ernie Kenny just said something. He ain't eating grapes. He ain't getting his massage and grapes the when he know the, the Marcus Cousin coming in there. He only <laughs> do that when Aaron Baines on the other team. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our Atlanta studio. Ernie Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. So this doubleheader, which features the top two teams in the East, and then you got Philadelphia taking on the team that's the top of the West, Golden State. That first game looked like it was going to be a blowout Milwaukee's way. Toronto at home able to close the gap, but Milwaukee would prevail. Kyle Lowry gets the word that he's an all-star. So does Chris Middleton, named as a reserve. Flips early on. Middleton to the freak. That's what you got to do. Get that jumper. Get that in the post. Ask for it. Get it. Deliver. Kawhi with the steal and the easy finish. Kawhi, did he dunk it like that, Kenny? Oh, I saw Ooh. what you did there. Freak again. Nice defense. Yeah, nah. Can't do nothing with that. Stay out of that picture. Mm. Kawhi. Get into the lane. Mid range. Wait, you mean the guys don't just shoot threes every time? Five-point game at that point. Middleton, all-star for the first time. Oh, shot. That's, what I, that's what I love about this kid. He created his own shot. He'll just rely on, you know, getting kick out from the Greek freak. Congratulations, Mr. Middleton. 56-47 at the half, and then Milwaukee would open up the lead to 24 in the third quarter. Like you, I'm indecisive, Chuck. <laughs> Middleton rattles home the three there. Giannis? Oh, you don't know he's you not do it. That. Yeah, don't you shoot that, Dave. Shoot Thank you. There you go. What kind of dummy run did that in, Dan? Yeah. I just, oh, too little. Oh, that's perfect right there. Yeah, working on Kawhi right there. Too Man. little. Man. They had a 78-54 lead in this game as you see Bledsoe connect for three. And then comes a 22-9 run to close the third quarter for Toronto. Oh, yeah, that second unit is just terrific. Terrific. Guys coming up the bench like right. Oh, man, it's a law. It's a list of them. 87-81. They cut the lead to six. Too little. Middleton again. Who's it remind you of, Kenny? Who's that? Mark McGuire. Who's that? Middleton. No. Ma no, no, Mark McGuire. I'm just asking. Oh. <laughs> Terry, uh, Terry Teagle. Robert Reed. Okay, yeah, Robert. yeah. Robert Reed's a good one. How about the play there by Antetokounmpo? After the nice play by Lopez to get a Thank hand you. on it. Freak uh, with the block. Bob Love. Uh, I'm not that old. Good play. And How about Malcolm Brogdon nails it shut from three. And the Milwaukee Bucks are 24 games over 500 for the first time since 1986. Wow. They are 37 and 13. Have won eight out of nine, Who ten out of twelve. Been? Say what? You're right, A-Rod. I'm trying to figure out in eight. Marcus Johnson, Sydney Moncrief. Sydney Moncrief, yeah, okay. Terry, Terry Cummings. Cummings. Okay. Yeah, Terry Barbara. Cummings, that's a great no, I don't name. think Daryl Walker was there then. No, Daryl Walker wasn't there. No. He was carrying uh he was uh, carrying Michael Luke, towards the wall. Luka Doncic not playing for Dallas tonight. There's no way the pitch is gonna lose with Blake, this. Blake pit. Griffin, a uh, come on, all star, an okay, all star reserve. So the pit, none of those guys played for the Pistons. I mean, and for the Mavs. For the Mavs and no Doncic, the Pistons will win this game by oh, 100. Oh, in Detroit? Yeah, after yeah, the, by after 100. The, and of course, all those uh, guys not there because of the trade. Oh, and they got an old man Dallas. out there too. Yeah, so no Dennis Smith. Uh, still no better, DeAndre huh? Jordan. Wait, no the Mavs got the lead? Uh, wait, no, wait. And the, and the Dennis Smith got none of them guys play either. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and no on. Doncic. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me. Andre Drummond doing work on the glass. Oh, yeah. Doing he work. always doing work. does. Dang, Come work. on, man. Give me a break. This is ridiculous. Well, pass out. I feel oh, okay. so bad, Isaiah Thomas rolling over this Well, they got, they're up there, up there. <laughs> Reggie Jackson. There. Come on. Get back Johnson. Blake up Griffin. right now, 34 seconds. Dude. Little jump hook. Hey. Dennis Dembo. Come on, yeah. Come on, man. Dallas got a, a G League team. Harrison And they struggling Barnes. with him. Come on, man. Had 27 on the night. Oh, Joe Dumas. Jalen Brunson misses that one on oh. purpose. Comes down into the hands of Andre Drummond. Oh. And the Pistons escape at home. 
with a win over the shorthanded Dallas Mavericks. Oh, shorthanded? Yeah. That's like no arms. <laughs> I'm going to say what Calvin <laughs> Murphy said the other night. That's Nine. like Luke, they lost to a three-legged oss. <laughs> 90, 93 to 89, the final. Dallas has played so many close games there. 15th game decided by four points or less. That's ridiculous, seven. man. Come on. Yeah, come, on come on, Pistons. Y'all, no, y'all not betting that. <laughs> you say, yeah, yeah, not bad now. They are 22 and 28. Dallas at 23 and 28. And of course, Dallas with the, all the news today about the trade. And we talk about the guys moving to New York and Kristaps Porzingis coming to Dallas. Bottom line on the trade, Kenny. Well, for if you're Dallas, I'll, I'll stick it with the, with Dallas. You know, I, I just think they've done a great job. You, for the Knicks, it's about the future. And about how can we? I'll take the Knicks. You take Dallas. He said. Okay, okay. I'll okay. Take, take Dallas. So. If you look at this trade for Dallas and you say Porzingis and Doncic, is that's really what they're saying it is right. for the future? Because and they're saying we can't be what Golden State is. We can't be the Golden State Warriors. We can't chase them. But as soon as they fall off, as soon as which could be after this year, one player leaves, one player gets a little old. We're next in line along with you, Denver, because we're here, and that's what they had to do. They, they're chasing the pre, the post. Golden State era. Everyone in the West should be chasing the post-Golden State era. And when you're ready for them, they have moved themselves to me exactly where Denver is right now with those two guys. And for the Knicks, it's scary, Ernie. Because they're going to have two max slots. If they don't get KD and another great, great player, they're screwed. Because, first of all, they're going to have to pay two guys. And if you give the wrong two guys 200 million dollars, that's the end of your franchise for the next 10 years. And I, I'm talking about great players. Because if you get two good players and give them both max deal and they don't put you over the hump... You're an eight seven seed. Yeah, but you, you're just going to be good enough not to get a good draft pick. But those guys are going to be stuck with you because they... Cause, listen, it's crazy. And I would love to believe... And, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think New York is still a destination for one or two big-time free agents. You know, you got Madison Avenue, you know, similar to L.A., minus the weather and all that. Shaq, let me ask uh, you a question. Yes. <clears throat> when's the last time a big-time free agent went to New York? Not in a while. But when's the last time they had two bank slots? Uh, but I'm just paying, saying, though. Paying all I, this money. I had a, I, what, what, does, what, does the, what is the impact when your best player, Kristaps Porzingis, is so unhappy he wants out of that place, and what does that tell prospective free that's, that's agents huge. about going to New York? That, that is, that's huge because the, the part that was huge about it, you know, and Steve Mills and Scott Cherry, they, they had, I think, done a great job up until this point. And this is to what this is all now speculation. Now they have to come through because you, the guy who isn't wasn't even playing doesn't want to play for you. It's not that if he was, he was playing. Anthony Davis has been playing in New Orleans seven years. He's put a gave a great commitment. They, they had Boogie Cousins. They made everything to try to happen. And he said, well, we just can't get it done. But here is a guy who hadn't played and has not been playing. So they have to attract the right guys this summer. And Leonard, let me tell you something else, too. The Clippers, the Lakers, the, the Nets, the Knicks, all these players can't go. Yeah, it's not like New York is the only suitor out there. Yeah. There are a bunch a of lot teams, teams going to have Marcus. max dollars. Yeah, everybody the can't go. Scott Perry, yeah. Scott Perry and Steve. Oh, I, I love Steve there. Mills and yeah, Scott got, Perry, but I'm got, saying everybody got, can't get the superstar. Philadelphia and Golden State, game two of our doubleheader. The Warriors trying out. to run their winning streak to 12. They come in 36 and 14 against the Sixers, who are number three in the East. B.A. has got the call. Game in Charlotte. Leading the Bucks into Toronto tonight and trying to beat Toronto three out of four in the regular season. He's got 13 in the first half. And the Bucks have a 56 to 47 lead over the Raps. Here we are in Studio J for the American Express halftime report. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley, our American Express teammates. The Freak and his teammate who joins him as an all-star. Chris Middleton, who's got seven, six rebounds, and three assists. First time since 2000, 2001 that the Bucks have had multiple All-Stars. Back then they had Ray Allen and 
Ben Baker. The big dog, Glenn big dog. Robinson. Oh, wow. Robinson. Oh, my as bad. My as they're bad. all stars. But this time around, it's the freak, and it's Middleton, and the freak has got the attention of Shaq. He's the first big man that I've seen average 27 13, right? A couple assists, six assists without post moves. Mm. So he's a point big man, the new era of basketball for big guys. He's playing at the top of the key, very unconventional, especially for us three. But what I like, Ooh. he reads the defense very well. He's he does nice what he's defense. supposed to do as uh, a big guy. Just That's... take it right to the hole. Everybody's saying, yeah, but he needs to work on the jumper. Forget that. You don't need to do that. You need to do this right here. This is why you're shooting 55, 56% from the field, because even though you, you're not post moving, you're still doing what That's big men do. You're taking high percentage shots. And this part right here is playing very smart. Coach Bud has been playing well. You draw the defense, kick it to your teammates. That's why he's at, uh, averaging uh, six assists a game. And again, he's the first big guy that's, that's doing that without doing post moves. But you're saying he doesn't have to improve that other part of his game? No, He'd he be does unstoppable, not. No. man. Well, he already is unstoppable. I mean, Stop he'd be that. even no. more no. unstoppable. Hey, Greek you're Freak, saying, Greek Freak, don't even work on that jump. You're saying he couldn't be a better shooter? Nope. That's not going to help his nope. game. Well, don't even work on that jump. Come on, now. Well, I, I, I'm going to disagree with that because if he, if he gets – learn how to shoot the basketball, then he'd be unguardable. I mean, He's uh, unguardable now. No, he's not unguardable. First of all, uh, first of all, that's just a soft big man talking. When you're the biggest guy there, you take high percentage shots. You, he, dude, soft, I will say he's, he's unguardable. Man. Yes, he's soft. I will say he's unguardable now. <laughs> Thank but you. But I would Thank say you. later on, if he develops the jump shot when he gets into the latter part of his career, he will still be just as effective. Okay, I, I agree with that. But now he don't need to work on that jump. Don't settle. You punish them boys down there. You shoot, you, know, you shoot over a chair. That's how you win. Not shooting jumpers. Facing up shooting little jumpers like a soft big man. <laughs> Why got you like that, man? Why you got you got Because he's like, soft. We don't know the you, you, like, are, you, are, you, are you just holding your fire he's over He's holding here? it. He's holding First it. First of all, Chuck, you're a power forward. Don't don't speak on no big man, okay? Because that's not your category. That's my category, okay? What well, a power big man is me, huh? What about power forwards or big guys? No, they're little big guys. They're not big, big guys. They're little big guys. That's why they're four and not the five. So don't tell me what he needs to do. I know what he needs to do. Thank you very much. I know you think, yeah, uh, Ann Coulter, just because you said stupid stuff don't make it true. Well, it's true. Cause I, I but, know it's true. But Giannis, Giannis is a four. Giannis isn't a five. Well, listen, he's, he's a point. He's a big man. <laughs> he's tall. Whatever. He's long. He's a point. He's Whatever. four or five. The Raptors are the second best team in the Eastern Conference, record wise, yeah. right behind Milwaukee. Yeah. What have you seen from them tonight that has got you going to the board? Yeah, because, you know, we don't get to see them much, uh, a lot, because of the north of the border. And, oh, know, they get TV up there. Yeah, but we, <laughs> but we don't get to see them a lot in terms of on TNT. And I think the other thing is, we, we talked about the American Express teammates. They went, we went straight to Giannis and we're straight to Middleton. But the teammates here, uh, Lowry right now, and we have our big guy, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, I thought you was coming. I thought you was coming. You see, I took that first step. So to me, the difference is here. The ability of these two guys to create off the dribble, but not give up their dribble. They're strong enough, just like Giannis was, to be able to get it. And here's Lowry. So here's a point guard, and I call him the little pit bull right here. So if you're right here and you freeze it here, freeze it. You got Malcolm Brogdon, who's probably one of the strongest guards in the NBA. You got, you got your bigs coming. You, got, you have your, uh, Giannis on the other side. You have all kinds of physical help. But this does not deter... Kyle Lowry, this is why he's an all-star, because he's still able to get in, take the contact, finish over the bigs, and score. And not to be able to give up his dribble, make something out of nothing. So here we got Kawhi Leonard the same way. We got a pick and roll starting. Abaka comes out to pick. And Middleton does great defense. And all you got this, freeze it here. You got this semi-zone here. You got five eyes. You got ten eyes on this guy, five sets of eyes. But he says, no, I'm not giving up my dribble yet. I'm going to create the opportunity because I'm strong enough, I'm big enough, and I'm tall enough to get in the area to, and score. These two guys, to me, is the reason why we need to show them more. Leonard, 10 points in the first half, 4 out of 10. Uh, Kyle Lowry's got 7. Toronto just 2 for 17 from deep in the first half. And they trail 56 to 47 to a Milwaukee team that is number one in the NBA in defensive efficiency. Back with more on the American Express halftime report in just a second. Oh, come on now. <laughs> That's not right. We're talking about a Hall of Alex, Famer over here hey, to Alex, my left. That was funny. Hey, look at the oh. shot. Look at the hat. Stay puffed. <laughs> Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yes, there he is. Uh, I remember Stay Puff. <laughs> I'll bet you do. I ain't laughing at that, Chuck. I ain't laughing at that. That ain't funny. Stay Puff Man. I was Welcome. Later tonight, Sixers and Warriors. You know, this guy makes it look 
Steph Curry. Steph Curry, yes. Steph Curry and the no, Warriors. No, he got that look. Won 11 in a row. He got that look on his face. What is that look? I got the comments. I might as well just stomp the Sixers while I'm here. <laughs> we'll see if he's able to do that later on tonight. Meantime, Brooklyn has lost 15 straight games in San Antonio, and there's a delay because they got bats in San Antonio again. Where's Ginobili? Yeah. Remember when Ginobili swatted that one right out of the air? Yep. There's my man Theo Pitson. Yeah. They got to get these guys off. Angelo the Russell said, I want no part of this. I had a bat. Everybody Ooh. chasing oh, down bats with, with towels and big old nets. Nope. That's, That's not, not going to catch a bird. That's what happened when you yeah, play there in the you barn. Go. Same thing that you were thinking about. Yeah. As with I, David I Robinson saying, where's Manu Ginobili when you need him? Boy, let me tell you something. I really want to say something, Dan. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I already know what he's going to say. What? You got, I'm going to send the video up to you, Jeremy. <laughs> no, he said, bat out. I got a bat at home. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 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 a lot of jokes I'm being nice tonight. Yeah, be nice. Uh, yeah.